Just to be clear, though, what he's referring to, and, and you point out to when you're running for vice president in 2020, uh, you were not talking about banning fracking, but. No, no, I, no, Anderson, I, I pledged that I would not ban fracking. Right, I know. You said yeah. you would not ban fracking. Uh, you know, you had said in the 2019 town hall, there's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. In 2017, you talked about Medicare for all. You talked about uh, 2019, you raised a hand in debate about uh, if bo- border crossing should be decriminalized. Are all of those issues, which are, those are not your positions now, are all those issues that you're saying through consensus and getting stuff done, you have evolved on? Well, no, let's take, for example, the issue of Medicare. My point has always been that access to health care should not just be a privilege of those who can afford it. It should be a right for all people. So that is why I have worked on doing what we have done to, one, allow Medicare to negotiate against the big pharmaceutical companies to bring down the cost of prescription medication. We've uh, we've achieved that in terms of capping the cost of insulin for seniors at $35 a month, capping the cost of, of annual prescriptions at $2,000 a year for seniors. But my plan moving forward based on that very principle that I've always had is as president, to have that cap be for everyone and not just for our seniors. The work that I have done that has been about recognizing the importance of dealing with border security, that has never changed. As I said, I have prosecuted transnational criminal organizations. That I did for years before I ever ran in 2019. It is not true that Harris pledged in 2020 that she would not ban fracking as president. Her campaign has explained that she was referring to her comments in a VP debate with Mike Pence. But here's the thing about that debate. Nowhere in it did Harris say she had changed her own previous 2019 support for a fracking ban. What she did say in that debate twice was that Joe Biden, the head of the Democratic ticket at the time, would not ban fracking himself. I have the quotes here. She said, Joe Biden will not ban fracking. End quote. And then she said, quote, Joe Biden will not end fracking. He has been very clear about that. End quote. She didn't say Kamala Harris wouldn't ban fracking as president. That made sense at the time. He was the candidate. But contrary to her claim tonight to Anderson, she didn't did not pledge until this year that she personally would not support a fracking ban. So you're saying, well, what what, what, you, what you're saying is anyone under four hundred thousand won't have taxes raised. Or are you saying that anyone above four hundred thousand will have a tax raise? I'm saying that there is going to be a parody around what the richest people pay in terms of their taxes. Right now, Anderson, you know, the document, it it is well documented that some of the richest people in our country have gotten away with a zero tax rate. But if you're earning five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars under your plan, there's a good chance your taxes go up. It, this, we can't have this conversation without knowing what the, it's very complicated situation, right? If you're talking focused a lot more on Donald Trump, I think it's fair to say than she did on uh, many specifics in terms of what she would do uh, as president. But she did go into uh, some of her plans for small businesses uh, uh, and the like.